sorry, just gotta soak that in a little bit. Though Trick or Trey here playing some more of that Metal Gear Solid, the Twin Snakes. This is part three of my walkthrough, so uh, the other routine, sit back and relax, enjoy the show. Let's do this. Okay, let's collect some goodies. What's what we got here? We got some SOCOM. Got some M9. Of course, I'm full on rations. Speaking of rations, I need to equip those. What's this? More SOCOM that's okay. I'm out of SOCOM. I mean, uh, I'm full on SOCOM. It sucks no boy died in the missionary position. We'll teabag him just for the hell of it. Not going in there quite yet. Let's switch up the weapons. Do do do. Alrighty. Got the level 2 card now, so I can open some more doors. Do do. Okay, there's an enemy. I don't know what you reach it for. Punched old boy right in the dick. Fuck him up. Let's get this dude right here. Freeze. Mm hmm. Punch him right in the dick. Right in the dick. Go to sleep. Okay, those two are out. Let's, uh... I don't think there's anything in here. I know in Metal Gear Solid 2, you can, uh... Knock him out with a dick punch. Uh, I think there's, uh, thermals. I need, uh, lasers in here. Yep. I'm under attack. Stay alert. Uh-oh. That is not good. Let me put a call over a box on just in case they walk in here. Ugh. I think I sipped my drink while we're waiting. Don't walk your ass in here. I should be good on the box now. They're not coming in here. Return to your position. Stay sharp. Okay. I got the FAMAS. They are both right on me. Go to sleep. Nighty night. Which way are you going, buddy? I can actually just sneak past him. Come on. Uh oh, he's alerted. I did not mean to go to holding cells. We are actually going back to the first floor. Okay. Make sure that's equipped. I think I missed. That one definitely hit him. There's one up top. Let's get him. I missed. And my aim just sucks. I got him in the foot. He should be passing out sometime soon. There's a camera above my head. He 
You're not paying attention. Now you know. How do I get up there? I think I have to unequip this. How the fuck do I get up there? There we go. Got some chaff. SOCOM suppressor. Uh oh. Let me go ahead and equip this. Got a suppressor somewhere. There we go. And. Those guards are gonna come any second. Let's just chill out here for a little bit. This dude right here is going to be out for a while, so I'm going to worry about. Just imagining things. Okay, I think they're gone. Yep, I'm assuming. Okay, let me get this. So calm bullets full. Let me throw out a uh, a chaff. Do do. Going here. That's some more chaff. Enemy up here somewhere. Well, there's one down there. Let's put you back to sleep. Can't go in there. Uh, let's put this camera out. I just saw. It. There we go. Mine detector. Oh, that's gonna come in handy. What we got here? The uh, stun grenade. Guess that's everything. Actually, uh, let's go ahead and call this chick. Wrong one. I think it's going to be 104 or 14015. There we go. Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the colonel's niece, Merrill, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? Hmm. I'm the fool that your uncle sent to this hellhole. You came alone? Trying to be some kind of hero? I'm all they need. I do solid need sleep. lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know. How do you know my uncle? We go way back. I just said you sent, he sent me. My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people called me. That would the be The legendary me. Solid Snake? You? Uh, sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. They're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. Mm, they Just are some nice eyes. Just from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? No, I'm trying to put them behind you. Don't head. worry. <laughs> You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah, you know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal then? I don't know. Maybe I'll ask him personally. But first, I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. 
What exactly happened here? I just joined the training that same day. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapon disposal facility. Boy, oh boy. It's just like them. Nobody's told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. I kind of figured that out. This place is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush hush. But they must have been test firing dummy warheads for a while. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. That's what I heard anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah. That's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep them hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. <laughs> anyway, Whoa there. you met Baker, huh? I'm pretty sure What's I know where she up? stuck it. <laughs> He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No. Not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Huh. Sounds like it. But I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we'd better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't mm -hmm. be the first time. No, it hasn't. How do we get to the nuclear warhead storage where the doctor's being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Nice. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go to the... I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy, and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. Mute this damn thing. It was frightening to think that with a pull of a trigger, I could take someone's life. It's not like shooting targets in training. I always dreamed of being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action, and now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, you're not normal if you don't feel something the first time you kill. Killing without guilt produces more carnage. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits emerge. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. <laughs> okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. Go <laughs> her. You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> Looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Hang on to the key until then. Got ya. But listen. I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. 
Okay. Do do. Uh, let's jump down. Let's jump back up. I'll get that. They're about to wake up. The two upstairs with me are probably going to be all right. They're going to wake up the dude downstairs. Imagining things. Well, I guess no one's getting woke up. Hold up, hold up. I see him on the radar. Yep, they spotted the boy. They won't wake him up. Looks all clear. Just wait for them to clear out. Okay, I think they're clearing out now. He's way over there. Ugh, what does she want? Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Good. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry. I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Listen, Snake. The cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. We don't gas. want that. Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait! You said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. Okay, that's finally open. Let's put him back to sleepy. Bye bye. Let's put on our thermals. Uh, what do you want? Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. What is it? You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them and the doors will seal off and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. Okay, I can do that. We'll just deactivate them. I don't got time for that dodging shit. Alright. Let's uh put our rations back on. Can ya? In the name of the old trusty mind detector here. Yep. I already know who this is. Snake, be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Use a mind detector. I just who do. are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Still a questionable name. <laughs> the informant from the Watergate scandal? Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Who are you anyway? One of your fans okay oh let me get this chaff okay let me collect some of these mines because uh this tank fight's going to be a little bit different than mgs1 Get those two over there too. Okay, let's go get the other one. Let me equip my chaff grenade first because I know I'm going to need it in a second. Is 
can always use a ration. I think I'm full on them, though. I think I'm good on collecting mines, too, so let's actually switch to that. Put your ass in the ground. As far as the end of the game, we have our second encounter. You should crawl on the ground like the snake you are. Come, let's fight. Already. Put that chaff out here, and I'm gonna need some actual grenades. Alrighty. Your ass is mine. Shit. That did not go out of the plan. Got his ass with a grenade toss. Come here. Oh, so you going out here? There you go. Right in your nuts. Ah! Let's get some uh, claymores. Where they at? Just in case he rolls back out here, but then I gotta watch out for it too. Damn. There you go. Uh huh. That's one. Throw another grenade in there. Let's see what's this. Got some stones. I don't know how that's gonna fucking help me in a tank fight. See how you like this. Oh, for real? Okay. I think I'm gonna need another chaff. Switch back to a uh, regular. Ah! Bitch, take that. Where you going? Let's get some more claymores. Back to grenade. Oh, there we go. Ah! Woo! Throw so another grenade. Okay, I gotta wait for him to come out. I totally forgot. I don't know what you're shooting at. Okay, I am bleeding. Let's try. Do I have any bandages? Nope, just ration. Guess I'll use that. Let's leave them equipped. I just suck. Well, that'll work. There you go. 
Oh, you didn't like that, did you? I only got seven grenades left. Oh, I don't know how trap's gonna fucking help me out here. That'd be faster than that, buddy. Oh. Do -do -do. Oh, I thought he was still up there. I got five grenades. I should be able to take him out. Oh, you motherfucker. Okay. I think one more grenade toss should do it. There we go. Still amazed how Vulcan Raven manages to survive that. Ooh. I think he's the first dude in history to get knocked out while on fire. I'll be taking that a level three. Could go back and open some of those doors. Boss, is this all right? Just giving him the card like that. We'll play with him a little longer. You would be wise not to underestimate him. Where's he a Vulcan side of the fire just now? He is just as you said. He lives and breathes combat just like you. I would expect no less from your... You see, I told you so, but I will kill him. General Ivan, I hear that you lost your arm and ran away home. Watch your tongue, shaman. In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Sure you will. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always. Yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. He low key looks like Mr. Marcus. Okay, let's do a quick save. Mei Ling. You called Snake? Save. See what she's got to say. Snake, like Shakespeare said, knots had all spent, where our desire is got without content. Basically, it means that your desire can get you into trouble if you're not careful. I grew up in the hood. I don't know shit about Shakespeare. Don't get too greedy, or you might be sorry. Be careful, Snake. Alrighty, it's a uh, trigger show right here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end the video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the view, please do me this huge favor: thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe, and uh. See you in the next video. Peace. Yeah, 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 yeah.